morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Saturday, we have lots to do, lots to do. So we better get moving. Girls are still sleeping. Our farm is so sad, so sad and so quiet. We got the girls down there. I have so many things to do, but since school started, it's been chaotic. Girls are in bed still. Sam and I are headed out for all of our chore stuff we have to get done. I'm headed to a baby shower tomorrow, so Sam is on his own with the girls. I'm excited. They are going to the barn. They're gonna handle it all without me. I'm excited. I'm excited to have like a rest of it, even though I love it. Sometimes a rest is good. But right now, we have a bunch of shopping that we have to get done for tomorrow. It's freezing, you guys. This is Sam and my date time. This is our date time when we leave and the girls are in bed, the animals are all cared for. So Sam, how was your week? How was, how was my week? Yeah. Quiet without us? It's quiet. <laughs> Some people think that we drive you crazy. Do we drive Sometimes. you crazy? <laughs> it's true. Sometimes we drive him crazy, but sometimes he drives us crazy too. Actually, more often you drive us crazy than we drive you crazy. Would you say that's accurate? No way. <laughs> Yeah, probably not. You guys, I just stood in line for two hours to get these cupcakes that I bought for the baby shower. They're half blue and half pink because nobody knows the gender of the baby. This is our favorite bakery of all time, like of all life. They make the best food. But because I haven't been eating sugar, my body wasn't craving sugar, but I wanted, like I went in there, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, like I haven't had any sugar in probably two weeks. I'm just gonna have some sugar, like, I'm just gonna have some. And then I was like, but I don't even feel like it. Like, I didn't crave it, I didn't want it. I didn't get anything. Are you sad, Sam? Sam's yeah, like, well, I can't. <laughs> oh, they had so, I, if it wasn't so busy, like, seriously, let me see. Lined up around the corner. They said that every single day, there's, there's lined up there. Every single day, there were people there, like, coaches, like, there's a guy who's a rugby coach and he was there for his bi-weekly cupcake or donut or whatever. Like, it's insane how busy that restaurant is. Like, that's unreal. But anyway, I got the cupcakes and now we're headed for Sam to get his, what? What are you getting? License plate sticker. License plate sticker because it's Sam's birthday. It's in September, you guys. His birthday's coming up. So I finished up all my shopping. I bought a gift bag to wrap my present in. I'll show you guys what I bought when I get home. Um, and I also bought some stevia. I wanted natural stevia, like with no additives and stuff in it, so that Sophia could have like some fun stuff. Cause I said, like I told you guys, she's been giving up chocolate and it means, or she's been giving up sugar and it means a lot to me that she's trying. She's trying her hardest. Um, I also got a couple of straws because we are a straw family and the rubber ones are gross. Like they feel gummy in your mouth. Like they're disintegrating or something. And I bought rainbow ones for the girls because you know, they're gonna be all about the rainbow ones. And Sam, Sam, what did you buy at the store? A tart. A tart. He went all the way in there. You guys know he has bad knees and don't like to do too much walking. Went in there to get sugar. Like you could have got that at the bakery where it was so yummy. Yeah, you should have got me one. No, I'm not letting you eat sugar. I forbid you to eat sugar. I forbid him to eat sugar, but he doesn't listen to me because he's a man and wants to do his own thing. But I want him to be healthy. It's my birthday month. It is his birthday month. I'll give him that. So this is what I bought for my present. It's a two camera video monitor system. So it's just basically a baby monitor. Hopefully it's going to fit in my package. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, perfect. And I got a bag that says a new lovely baby i got a card i got all the cupcakes half vanilla and half chocolate half pink and half blue i also um had to plan a game to play the baby shower so this is baby shower bingo and all you do is as the the mom to be opens presents you mark off whatever she opens so if she opens up some pacifiers then you mark that off if she opens up diapers then you mark that off so as she opens you mark it off and the first one to get bingo wins a prize Ooh, can i play that sure but these are the prizes that i bought i bought this lantern you can't really see it it's all wrapped up i was just gonna leave it how it is right are you guys ready for the update on our baby chick not the one that passed away but the other not one the one that passed away why would we give an update about the one that passed away not everybody He's knows. He's still dead. Not, yeah, not everybody knows he died. But this is He's the other one. He's big. Up. Yeah, he's so big. Wow, look at you. What do you think it is, a rooster or a hen? I think it's a rooster. 
I know, I always feel like it's a rooster too. It's super healthy, super... I want it to be a hen. I want it to be a hen too. I want it to be a hen too. Right, you better be a hen. One rooster's enough. Yeah, and you better grow fast. It's getting cold fast. Keep growing, big guy. Like, he's always not underneath his mom. His mom's always standing up. They're always walking When I around. throw treats in there, he's like, zoom. Oh, he likes them? Let's give him a peach. We, I already gave them peaches yesterday and he ate some. Let's give them he needs the stuff that he's got though. What's in his fur? Probably dirt. Ruby's like, well, give them to me. I'll take care of them. <laughs> it is getting hot outside. I should check the thermometer and see what the temperature is. But I'm down here cleaning up after the ponies. Cleaning up after the ponies. Trying to catch the kitties. They're both over here. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, Gracie. Oh, he does not like the horses. I do not know what happens when we're not here, but he's, he's like, let me down. Do you terrorize the kitties? So every day I come down and I clean up the horses room and area. She's like, I know there's treats in there. And one thing some of you guys might not know about me is I'm an empath. Lots of people are empaths. It is someone who feels the emotions coming from another human being or another animal. So it's easy for me to feel what the horses are feeling. Like some people rely on if their ears are pinned or how they're standing or their body language. But for me, I just feel them. Like I can walk, I'm sorry, I'm getting a battery out of my bra. I can just walk into this area and feel them. And that's why it's really hard for me not to overfeed them because I can feel when they're so hungry and they're agitated and they're worried and they're stressed out about it. And today I can feel how much peace is out here in this little field. They're just like loving this weather. They're peaceful, they're happy. If I can just feel it in them. And when I'm down here doing chores, it gives me peace. Unless they're stressed out and then I feel stress. Lately, I find myself down here at the, in the mare field with the mares more than anybody else. Sam will come down and feed them, but I find myself down here just spending time with them. I'm one of those people that have so much energy that I always have to be moving or, or working or being busy. And so this little barn down here is such an outlet for me to come down and just be with them and brush them, spend time with them get joy from them oh gracie you need another brush holy heck horses are shedding like crazy anyway my point is that even though i haven't been showing the little horses a lot lately because we've been so busy running in and out every day i'm down here and spending time with them and they're feeding my soul and maybe that's what god has intended for me for right now until i find a horse is to enjoy these ones that we have the ones that i feel super comfortable with because they're easy to manage like I could just take Gracie anywhere. She's like she fills my heart so much. I love Willow too, but I just feel such a strong connection to Gracie. An empath is also someone who can walk into a room and feel the tension or the lack of tension or feel the peace in a place, which is why finding this new barn has been such a blessing to me because it's just such a peaceful place. Would you look at that? There are now four friends in the hay bale. Four friends. You see that? Three bays and a palomino. We've inherited a palomino. Now, which ones are ours? That's the big question. Okay, the big brown one in the back is ours. I think this chubby guy, see the chubby one right in the, right here? This one's not ours. Interesting though. They've got their head stuffed, stuffed right in there. They made another friend. Now I just need to So this super color. cute. Made myself a friend here, you guys. Feel like I'm gonna be getting a horse though. Like, literally, horses have been following me everywhere. Like, this guy's following me. Like, really following me. Oh, he's so cute. Look at how adorable. Okay. Oh, and he has nice hair. Aw. Yeah, I know. This is a, this is the place I carry treats, but I don't have any for you. I can't give him a treat because I don't know. I mean, he doesn't look like he's lemonitic or anything but I just don't like to give strange horses treats because you never know I don't like it when people do that to our horses uh oh you guys I'm having trouble <laughs> he's my friend now no wonder storm likes him this makes me nervous oh Chino's like don't leave me you guys are friends I know that but listen dude you gotta go Shh, go thank you uh oh so 
so these are the hooks that we bought at the tax store and it's holding their bags perfectly it's brand new okay, so if you bought everything so pink yeah if it looks kind of pink please watch out so this is what it looks like you guys stormy and pink you can just barely see the light pink underneath there and then the dark pink under top two pairs of belt boots because it's supposed to keep, help keep their shoes on. So we're gonna go on a trail ride right now. Storm's alone, he's not very happy about it, but hopefully he doesn't break free. We're, you're okay, we'll be back in a minute. So uh, Sophie's got on her other new breeches. These I ones are carrots. She doesn't love them because- They're not stretchy enough. They're not super stretchy. I love them though, I think they look gorgeous you on her. You could have them. You're probably supposed to just walk up to it. No, Paige moved it. Oh, okay. Wait, did I? No. All right, you guys, we are out on the trail through the woods. If I can stop for a sec. Oh, I can't. Yeah, we're on this side, so. I can't see here. You parked me in front of a tree. But through this woods here is the whole herd that belong. Right to the left. Yeah, the see them? The These are our. Our horse is heard. How beautiful though. Like this is gorgeous. Finn's already like, whoa. It's been a while I bet you since they've seen grass like this. Finn and Sophie are doing good. Chino's leading the way. He just dropped down a little kind of when the car came because... He flinched when a car came. Because I was bracing myself ready to stick it. Well Gabby and Chino are totally just chilling up there. Finn is literally just chilling. I find myself again walking in the field with no horse. Usually by the time your kids get to 11 and 13, they don't really want much to do with their parents. Oh, I'm gonna want a lot. So the you. fact that I get to go on this little trail walking. Everywhere I need to go. Even just you'll walking. Help me if I get sick. Sophie's like, I'm never leaving you. After, I if I go to college, after college, I'm moving back in with you. I don't believe her. My uh, middle son, Kyle, once told me when he was Sophie's age that he will never leave me. And yeah, he left me. Do you think I would leave you? I would cry every night. Sophie. I could barely stay, hand it, handle it when you were in the hospital. Yeah, but by the time you're 13, you'll feel different. I Hormones. I told you, bawling my eyes out. Hormones make you change. They make you braver and stronger. Oh, yeah, we gotta so slow down. Yeah. One thing about horseback riding is you get to see views like this. This is beautiful in here. I, you guys see the canter marks on the ground from last time they were out here? Look at the apple trees. Can you guys see them? We're going near them. Big apple trees. So this is gorgeous. Mom just walked through the holes and I just swerved. Oh. I don't want my horse to go lame for months. Sophie really doesn't need me. It's just, I like to be safe. She's just not happy. come, she doesn't know she can do trails yet. This Every is, trail. This is a nice path to take photos on. Can we go on the ground? We should take fall pictures here. Yeah, let's try it. I've already let Finn and Chino. Finn literally hugged Chino's side. All right. Well, we're not trotting. No, well, let's just do a little pony ride. That is perfect. She already feels more confident. So it's, it's a dream made in heaven that these two horses love one another so much. We've our whole horsey career has involved having Storm, who we could never do this with. He kicks horses when they come up behind him. This is beautiful. I just need Sophie to get like a couple of good trails under her belt so that she realizes that she can do this. Her pony is such a sure-footed pony. He's like kind of compact and put together really well and he watches his feet. Finn is the kind of horse that doesn't like, doesn't like to get hurt and he always watches where he puts his feet. Gabby just told me that there's a turkey on the path. <laughs> and they're still going forward. And Sophie hasn't called for me yet, so hopefully a whole flock of turkeys does not <laughs> come running out and scare us. There are these two turkeys just running. And I said, if Finn spooks and I fall, I'm Jumping up and chasing the turkey. <laughs> yeah, <gasps> have turkey for Thanksgiving. No, keep it as pets. I don't think it would be good for that long. Oh, it would. You Unless just you keep it alive and then butcher it. You butcher it and put it in the freezer. Mm. Mm. Right, okay, let's, let's keep going. Oh my 
my gosh, I have no idea what they're thinking. They're walking up that big, huge hill. I gotta go there. So uh, there's water down there. Can you guys see it? Oh. Yeah, there's the water, the lake. Right there. I just walked up all this hill, and now they tell me they have to go back down it. Yeah, this is a trail ride. Oh. I thought it was gonna be like a lot of trees, a lot of woods, but it's actually nice. Do you like it? This is what you guys need. You and Finn need a nice, quiet, calm ride together. I don't like my foot. <laughs> Something that will relax the both of them, break up a busy week. There we go. It's happening, you guys. She's getting to like it. Beautiful. I'm not kidding, they lost me. I was walking with my head down because I wanted to not fall. And then there was like a bend and I don't see them past the bend. And so I went through this path. So I don't know where they are. I literally have no idea where I am. I kind of hear them. Gabby! I don't know where they are. Hmm, interesting. I may be stuck in the path. We went in and out of a bunch of trees, so I don't know which path they took. All of a sudden, they were in front of me, and then all of a sudden, they're not. So I have no idea where they turned off, or if they didn't turn off, but I just can't see them far enough ahead. I don't know what's happening. I know we went through a lot of woods. I don't recall coming down this, this area here. So hopefully they're ahead of me. Oh my God, they seriously are missing. Like I seriously can't find them. What the heck? All right, so they clearly turned off the path somewhere and I don't know where they went. You guys, I'm lost, officially lost. You think they'll come back for me? Oh, I bet you it's over there. I think it's over there. I'm gonna head that way and see. Does this look familiar to you guys? I honestly have no idea where I'm going. Like, I'm not even joking. Oh my God, I am lost. I honestly can't believe they're not coming back for me. Like, who the heck raised those kids? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Like, I'm totally lost in these woods. Like, I'm a little bit freaking out here. I have all their cell phones in my purse. I heard them. I feel like crying, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I see them. Oh my God. I'm literally gonna lose my mind. Literally gonna lose my mind. How do you just walk on and leave your mother far behind when she doesn't even know where she's going? Or at least I see a bay. I don't know if it's her. Yeah, purple jacket. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill them. What the actual heck? You're never supposed to leave somebody behind. You were supposed to be following I was following you, I came around a bend and you guys were nowhere. I couldn't find anybody. If we were gonna turn, we would've waited for you to actually. So where were you? Because I came up here. I... So then you went all the way to another field? And she's free, took off the cord, she's riding. She's got it. I just needed them to have a really good, comfortable, calm ride under her belt for her to realize how much fun this actually is. This is what I wanna do when I get my horse. I want us to explore the world, but obviously with a compass because I suck at direction. Amazing, Gabby just opened this gate, unlocked it, threw it open, all on Chino, and he didn't even bat an eye. These horses, oh my God, Storm's still screaming. Storm's still screaming for them, you guys. That's so sad. We didn't want to take Storm because she wanted Chino to have a really relaxed ride today. Just a pleasure ride because he's been working really hard.
not very happy that he got left. You have all those friends. Why didn't you go find them? He's like, I got friends over there. Look. I picked an apple. Are you okay? Good boy. Are you acting a fool the whole time? Are you acting crazy the whole time? There you go. They're coming out. They're just getting all brushed and cleaned up, okay? And then they'll be out here with you. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Even though there was little miscommunication, my kids did not know that you don't ever leave somebody behind, but they know now. Um, that was glorious. That was amazing. It was so good to walk on a trail. Although, I am not gonna lie. I think my days of walking on trails are limited. You guys, I need a horse. I, think we might be going I need to find a nice ride. trail horse. I need a nice gated trail horse. We're gonna be going on more trails. Yes, yeah, Sophie. That exact so the reason that Sophie had so much reservations about trail rides is every trail ride we've ever taken her on has been an extreme trail ride like terrifying trail ride like i can't even tell you we guys walk across ice yeah like we walked we've, walked, we've climbed, climbed mountains, mountains and ice yeah we've scaled rock walls like every place we've ever gone have been such extreme trail rides that she got it in her head that she was really scared but now that was well, what she needed best, no it was a nice relaxing amazing ride she trotted it was so glorious it's like oh my god it's you know, so fast he gobbles it you are a gobbler a gobbler yeah the horses feel so relaxed on the way back on the road literally tina was so far ahead and finn was like yeah oh, i got my girl who cares like he just plodded along like finn does not plod along finn goes after his friend like it, that was just amazing like they he needed it i felt chino really needed it i felt these guys really needed it we're gonna get back at it with Storm, but his leg, ugh, I just don't wanna push it when he is still healing. Don't you know that you're